Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about carbon monoxide and this topic is under ICSE standard 8 syllabus from carbon and its compound chapter. Previously we have studied carbon dioxide, its chemical and physical properties, how can we prepare it via laboratory method and some other information. The same way we are going to learn the carbon monoxide. So first who discovered the carbon monoxide? So the lasso was the scientist who produced carbon monoxide with the help of reaction between zinc oxide and wood charcoal. So he burnt zinc oxide and wood charcoal and he produced carbon monoxide in the laboratory. Trikshank was the another scientist who found out a basic structure of carbon monoxide. We know that it is carbon and oxygen. This is a molecular formula of carbon monoxide. Now, the occurrence of carbon monoxide is whenever we are burning coke, coal or any petroleum product, the carbon dioxide gas is generated but along with it, some of the carbon dioxide will get reduced to carbon monoxide. And this is how the carbon monoxide will be generated. So carbon when it will burn with oxygen we will get carbon dioxide and heat will be generated. This carbon dioxide will further reduce to carbon monoxide. Why it is reduction because here carbon was attached with two oxygen and after reduction one oxygen has been removed. So here it is CO, here it is CO2. So removal of oxygen is termed as reduction. So further this carbon dioxide is reduced to carbon monoxide and this is a reduction reaction. So all the petroleum products and burning of coke, coal will generate carbon monoxide in the environment. Let us understand now laboratory preparation of carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide gas is a highly poisonous gas. So generally we are not manufacturing it or preparing it in laboratory and it is not advisable to do so. But if even if we are doing it then it has to be under constant supervision and with proper precaution. So here in a round bottom flask we have taken concentrated H2SO4. One thesal funnel is there from which formic acid is dropwise we are adding to concentrated H2SO4 and we have to heat it. So in concentrated H2SO4 dropwise we are adding formic acid. So what will happen this is a reaction that this is a molecular formula of formic acid. So from this concentrated H2SO4 is dehydrating agent and it will take out the water molecule from this formula. So one molecule of formic acid will give us one molecule of water. So this OH and this H. So this will be removed by concentrated H2SO4 and remaining this CO is our product. So here when they are reacting together this gas, whatever is generated, first we are passing it through caustic potash or potassium hydroxide. Why? Because if in case any carbon dioxide gas has been generated in this, that has to be eliminated. So we are adding this gas delivery tube to concentrated KOH, that is caustic potash or we can also say potassium hydroxide. So it will absorb whatever carbon dioxide impurity will be there in that and again whatever carbon monoxide gas will be there will go to this water bath and we are collecting carbon monoxide gas by downward displacement of water. Again this is a formula of formic acid when it is mixing with concentrated H2SO4, H2SO4 is dehydrating agent which will eliminate water molecule from formic acid. So it will give us carbon monoxide and water. But sometimes carbon dioxide gas will also generate it. So that will get absorbed in this caustic potash. So first we are 
adding this delivery tube into this concentrated KOH solution. So whatever impurities of carbon dioxide will be there that will get absorbed and remaining carbon monoxide, the pure monoxide gas, carbon monoxide gas will come to this water bath and here we are collecting carbon monoxide gas by downward displacement of water. Why we are collecting it with water because it is insoluble in water and it is quite heavy. So we are collecting it with water and we are collecting it with downward displacement of water. So this was the laboratory preparation of carbon monoxide and in coming videos we are going to discuss some physical properties of carbon monoxide and we will also discuss that why carbon monoxide is highly poisonous for us. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then keep learning, keep sharing.